you know, y'all from the DMV. Y'all have done work with everybody, you know. Y'all have crossed paths with everybody. And for myself and for the fans, I was curious if each one of y'all, whether it's different or y'all piggyback off the same story, could just give us like a, a hidden gem, a story we don't know about, uh, where y'all crossed paths with some other fighters that we might know, like that one time in the gym with the Petersons or the, you know, this happened here. Is there anything y'all could offer us in terms of back in the day stories with some of these other DMV fighters where y'all crossed paths? A sparring match, a fight. Yeah, man, back in the day, in the DMV, we used to, all of the gyms, we would all come together. You know what I'm saying? Like the, like you say, the Petersons and stuff like that, uh, we would all come together. And we would spa. Huh? Who was that, Sony L? I thought I heard him say something. But yeah, nah, all the gyms, we'd come together and we'd go to Sugar Ray Linda's gym, our Palmer Pop. Everybody with all the gyms would come together to get ready for like the silver gloves or the, you know what I'm saying, the silver gloves or shit. That was my shit back in the day. Everybody was rumbling. You know what I'm saying? You had Lamar Peterson, Anthony Peterson, uh, shit, Keon Davis, he's not here with us no more. Um, Harold Parker, who used to compete. Um, we had a rack of little guys that was in the area oh, that was all right. Nato, Steve. Yep, Nato, Steve. Hey, we had a couple little yeah. dudes. That, who? Yeah. Oh, yeah, my man Ian, Ian Thomas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, we had a couple good guys, man, all around. We used to spot. Everybody was coming together and spot. You had the gym wars, then that joint. It was mean too. That was that bump. Take me through one of them. Take me through one of them. What's a gym war with somebody? We'd be like, oh shit, Gary got it in with that guy. What happened? Mm. What's one you could talk about? See, I don't, I don't really, I can't really give you that because these joints, I be beating people asses, and I don't really want to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't the guy that's going to really shoot a motherfucker down unless it's. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I can't really give you that one. Maybe Tony, maybe Tony got some jobs for you. I'm, I'm going to go to Tony next. Let me let me reframe the question for you this way. Is there anybody in them gym wars that, that you beat without saying a name that got a strap today, that's a top prospect today? Can you say that? Is there anybody... Uh, that, you gave, that you gave a whooping without saying a name that might have a strap or be in contention for one today? That's walking out there knowing Gary Russell don't whoop me one time. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> hey, hey, I ain't had to think about that one. Hey, hey, hey. Go. <laughs> What'd you hey. say, bro? No choice, but you're honest. Yeah, belt to asses. <laughs> Listen, uh, all right. Oops. Ew. I want to say this. You know the Ew. old saying, every dog has their day. <laughs> we lived it. <laughs> For sure. For sure. And any experience you could talk about without talking about the outcome? Like, I, I just give us a teaser. Like, yeah, me and so and so, we did some work back in the day. Or me, or so and so knows what's up with me in the ring where, where you ain't got to. Say yo, I whooped their ass, or I didn't whoop their ass. So well, at this point, feelings. at this point, any names we say it would be pretty much like saying we whooped their ass. Whoever right. missed it, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So right. what, I mean, what, type of trick question, what type of trick question you got going on here, man? No, oh, no, no, they doing no, a double, no. Hey, double <laughs> head, double head, throwing <laughs> ass questions, man. These questions we got There's double no head, man. <laughs> Try, trying to feed the fans as much as we can feed them without without <laughs> starting anybody up. So no doubt, I respect the answer. Tony, what you got for us on that subject? And by the way, this is no holds barred. Just so y'all know, that's what we do here. But go ahead, Tony. Go ahead. We got we got Tonio. Oh, man. First of all, let me tell you that. Yeah, that's me. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. So oh, I just want to say honestly, out of all the bros, I'm the one who speaks the least, honestly. So I'd be kind of dry out here, but I do have some stories. Like that, I got a few stories. But one joint that I like to share is this story with me and Tank, right? 
we was in the Golden Gloves together. We was in the Golden Gloves together. And, uh, he must have already known he was about to go pro after this tournament. So he was like, man, shit, I'm about to fight this one guy. He was like, man, I don't want to fight this dude, bro. I'm like, why? <laughs> he gave me his reason was now. So I'm like, that's, that's it? I'm like, bro, you better go ahead and cook this dude. He was like, nah, I'm going to cook him. He said, all right, all right. So I'm helping him in his room, getting his weight and everything, cut the shot with him and all that. I don't know what happened. I went to sleep. But when I woke up, I went to go take a piss, and I stepped in water. When I went in the bathroom, Tank was asleep on the damn toilet, <laughs> still sweating and everything. And I woke him up. He let the tub overflow. <laughs> he let the tub overflow, and it, like, messed up my phone and stuff. I closed stuff. I'm like, hey, Tank, yeah. Hey, bro, you got you got to make this weight, and you got to win now. You got to make this weight, and you got to win now. And he liked it. I was like, you know what? All right. And he went on to win the tournament. The next day, he won. So I know he remember that. A, I know he remember that. <laughs> that's a dope ass story. And listen, Tonio, honestly, a hundred percent, I appreciate you, bro. Because yes, you're right. I know that you're the brother that speaks the least. So we appreciate you giving us that gem on the whole ball. That's tight. It leads me to just a different question for any of y'all. And um, you know, just I'll start with you, Tonio. When you think about times like that, right? And you look at now where things are as far as the relationship, does it ever like bother y'all or like? Damn, we was homies, we was tight, we was tied in, and now it seems like we just, not in a real way, right? Because this is boxing, so let's make that clear. This is boxing, this ain't no BS. But just, you know, professionally, rivals, right? Like, it's just not the same. Does that ever bother y'all, or do y'all think about that at all? And if so, what do you think about? I mean, it don't, shit, that shit don't really... Nah. Repeat but the question again. I'm not really. It's even like this because they. We lost Tonio. We'll wait for him to come back. But the question was basically, you know, like it sounded like Tonio and, and you know, may, maybe it was different levels of relationship because y'all are three different, you know, age. Uh, right, ages, right, 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 right. But and maybe we clarify that part of it. But for Tonio, it sounded like him and Tank. Listen, you're not cutting on the shower and helping somebody make way that you're not really fucking with. Right. So they had some relationship. No, no, I mean, yeah, you have. Or, or, or maybe you are. Go ahead. Let me get it. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. Go ahead, Tio. No, honestly, no. Me and Tank, we was always cool, you know, coming up. We all grew up around each other. You know, we come out of the same stable on Uh, And actually, at that tournament, they actually told me, because they knew how aggressive I was. I ain't really like people. They was like, look, Tony, you know how you are. Uh, so pick who you want the room with. Who do you want your roomie to be? And I made a Tank. I, mean, I made a Tank. It was honestly, he was the only one I was familiar with and that I was cool with outside of it. Like, I remember after the fights and stuff, how we used to go on the side of the building, bust backflips, run up the wall and do backflips and all that stuff with him, little Diddy Ramon, little Anthony, like Coach Calvin, his kids, like all of them. Like, I remember all of them stories and all of them time, you know, and I cherish all of them. So to see him where he is now, I'm actually proud of it, you know. I like to see I like to see everybody that, from the stable that I came from or that I shared the ring with win. Unfortunately, it ain't one of them sports that it can work out that way. But so for him to be at the top of his career right now, I like it. Cool with it. Right. Definitely. Uh -huh. Definitely. We we never been on no hate and stuff. That the hell we got hate for. Yes. You know, so like you said, we had different relations. No. No. You you good, Gary. We we could um I'm my fault, Twan, you good. Uh we could we could mute Tonio on the back end so we don't get that uh yeah, that feedback. Mute is that. Mute is Tonio, for sure, I just want to say again, thank you. That's a hell of a story that a lot of fans probably wouldn't have known if we wouldn't have had you on here today. So that's dope. But keep going, Twan, what you were saying. No, nah, like you were saying, we got different relations uh, with the people that we bump shoulders with, you know, uh, rub shoulders with, or however you want to put it. But the boxing world is a small world. Everybody know everybody. 
you know. So like he said, like my brother said, we all came up from the same stable. I'm not guinea pigging off of what he said, but a lot of these guys know how we conduct ourselves and we know how they conduct themselves. Yeah, we got some stories. Some stories is not meant to be told. You, you know, if, if if some things get just thrown out there, just know that we can we can check that situation real quick. You know, we never been no petty type of people or guys or no clout chasing guys. We've been trying our best to be just some stand up, straight up and down, solid guys. Mm -hmm. And we always yeah. been way through and through. So if you got some other fighters that's in this boxing world saying, oh man, he's the Russell, they this or girl, he did. Come on, man. You just trying, you trying to be on the forefront of attention at this point. Mm -hmm. and we spoke on, anything that Big we spoke facts. on. Anything we spoke on was 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 matter of fact. This shit ain't no shit we bought out our ass and just threw out there just to be some clout chasers or nothing. Oh, if it, that's what happened. <laughs> Don't nah, play. Facts. I, and I was just gonna say, anytime I run into any of y'all in public, anything, y'all always stand up dudes. Like I, I watched, I watched Twan sit there with fan after fan, from the smallest dude to the biggest dude. Forever. I watched Gary move through the hotel. Tony's a little bit more low key. You know, you got to catch Tony when you catch him. But even when Tony <laughs> moving through, he moving through humble. You know, y'all ain't never, uh, you know, uh -huh. walking through there like y'all, y'all big time or, you know, y'all, y'all too big. No big use, no little, or what is it? What they say? No, uh, no big use, no little eyes, right? P pretty yeah, humble. Yeah. So, facts, yeah. facts. What you was going to say, Gary, what's your thoughts on this whole thing? Because, again, y'all got different age groups. So I guess my question was just around the fact that, like, you know, it's crazy because you could grow up with somebody and y'all in a very unique situation. You're not just growing up with somebody. Y'all elevating professionally at the same time in a sport that pits you against one another. So how, what's that like for you watching your little brothers be cool with this cat who's obviously younger than you? You know, I mean, around the same time. And now you, you yeah, I fight him. You know, how, how's that like? I mean that's that's cool. I mean I've fought some of my some of the people that I consider as friends. You know what I'm saying? This ain't one of those type of sports. It take a particular type of person to even want to participate in this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To even participate in the sport of boxing, you know, it takes a certain type of person to even want to do this shit. Um, so now nah, I mean I feel pretty much the same as my younger brothers. You know what I'm saying? Some people do take it a little, get a little more offended than others. You know, I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't get offended. If somebody say something slick or something smile out their mouth, to me, I feel as though that's just them being confident in their skill set and they want to prove, you know what I'm saying? They want to test it out against minds or, or whoever the other person is that they're talking about. You know, that's what you do in this sport. You know what I'm saying? So for people to take it and turn it and, Personalize it. I think it makes them make me look at them as a little sensitive. Right. You know what I'm saying? Got you. Got you. I have two more questions for y'all, and I appreciate all y'all time this afternoon. So you just talked about something. You said, "Look, you know, I, I don't fought friends before, right?" And this is what it is. So um, hey. obviously, I'm not as popular as the Russells. But just to give y'all some background on me, hey, I'm hey. one. I'm one of. Nah, nah, nah. Stop, stop. We try. We try and get there, but. I'm I'm one of four brothers. I got three older brothers, right? I'm the youngest. So we go from uh, a 12 year gap, you know, to seven to four, right? Okay. And uh, I, I gotta ask y'all, y'all probably gonna smell where I'm going with this once I lay it out. But I don't fought all my brothers, and I don't got no jab, no footwork, no no one two. What's it like in the Russell household when you got y'all three from 36 to 28 growing up? Was there scraps? Give us, give the fans something. Like, how did that work out, bro? I know y'all just did a kumbaya all the time. I mean, nah. So we, <laughs> we see naturally, <laughs> listen, we naturally aggressive individuals, man. <laughs> um, but shit, every household, our household is just like every other household. People have disagreements, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. Um. I think what, what what stood out the most with us was the dynamic that my father created. You know what I'm saying? Is this a, a thing of concept of order? You know what I'm saying? It might be something that my father might say that I probably disagree with, but that's my motherfucking father. So because it's pops, all right, pops. You know what? I don't agree with that shit. All right, we're gonna agree to disagree on this shit. You got it, pops. You know what I'm saying? This is the concept of order. 
you know, um, and that was something that we was brought up on real heavy honor and integrity, you know. So even when we clash amongst each other or <laughs> shit like that, you know what I'm saying? We men at the end of the day, but I think the honor, the integrity and the whole concept of order thing is what keeps everything the way that it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes motherfuckers might get out of whack every once in a while, you know, but um, shit, we humans just like everybody else. You know, but I think the morals and principles for what we stand for is what keeps things together the way that it does. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get us wrong. Motherfucker get mad and want to go to the gym and, and strap the fuck up. Uh-huh. <laughs> We're going to go to the gym and strap the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? But amongst amongst in our shit, you know what I'm saying? It, it was always a concept of order. You know what I'm saying? That kept kept the dynamics of things situated. Damn. Nah, for sure. And trust me, um, you know, y'all three grown men. So I know y'all have no problem working out anything today. But when you kids and y'all fighting over the PlayStation remote, what we do? We put the gloves on and we go in the backyard, best of three rounds. How we handle that? If we hey, when you, hey, sometimes it'll jump off like that. You know what I'm saying? It's the age, it was the age gap. You know what I'm saying? It's the age gap between. Was me you a bully? Was you a big brother bully though, Gary? Was you out there? You gotta talk to my. You gotta ask my little brothers that. I you mean, to, all right, Twan, Antonio, give it to me. What was it like? You been asking wrong person. No, I ain't never speaking on a certain thing. I okay. ain't gonna say he wasn't no bully. He wasn't no bully. You know what? What the fuck? <laughs> I said I was with the motherfucker most of the time. <laughs> uh, nah, he wasn't a bully. Hey, I. I, we had I no bullies it. in our family. We had no bullies in our family. Wasn't nobody bullied. For one, where everybody was just too aggressive to get bullied anyway. It wasn't no bullying going on. If anything, we was doing a lot of bad stuff together, the ones that was at the age range in which they could do it with. Gotcha. I think I just had special privileges because I think maybe I was that brother that all of the other brothers wanted to do everything with. So I was always cold. Mm hmm. <laughs> What Gary, what you about to say? He was like, I, I will say this. Go ahead, finish that thought, please. Nah, nah, man, nah. He's right. He's right about that shit. He's definitely right. You know what I'm saying? Antonio, we did bad shit. You know what I'm saying? It was never no, we was never bullies. You know what I'm saying? We was aggressive though. So the sport no, itself. No, hold, not to interrupt you. Let me, I just want to make sure I clear that up. That way y'all don't misunderstand that question. I'm saying like like my big brother, I'll give you a perfect example. My big brother, Charlie, I never bullied my old. little brothers. There you go. Yeah, I ain't I'm never bullied. Bully, <laughs> I ain't never bullied them. Oh I ain't oh never bullied my little brothers. <laughs> now, now, do I pull a big brother card on their ass? Hell yeah, but I don't bully him though. For example, right? If we all go out, if we all go out to eat as a family, I'm the one. I ain't ordering shit. I'm going to let all my little brothers get what they get. And I'm going to just go up and get my own plate and just go around on everybody's plate and get something <laughs> off everybody's shit. I'm good now. You know what I'm saying? So I do some shit. I do shit like that. But, nah, it was never no bullying, man. Them my motherfucking dogs. If anything, I'm going to try to look out for them, make sure they good. Fuck that. Respect. That, respect. That was, that was, Twan, that what's your perspective? Was, uh, Let's hear the Twan brother. perspective. Quit. I said those are older brother privileges. That's it. A lot of stuff, uh, it's it's more fiber that's back behind it, you know, and it, it just teach a level of humility. You know, like you said, we backed off of just honor, integrity, and stuff like that, especially when it's coming down to the brothers. But it can be bored and chopped up as constructive criticism too. You know, it's it's a learning thing, you know. And uh we lived that even even when we was young. It was never no true bully going on. It was bad, but it was never no true bully going on. Facts. 